Well, another cold, wintry day here in the Northeast, and uh, I'm a little bored. Not real bored. I usually find something to do. But uh, I thought I'd just show you a few cool things that are hanging around in the man cave. Now, this right here is a uh, piece that was made for me by a stained glass uh, worker. It's a uh, Celtic knot with the, um, I don't know how well that's showing up, with a thistle in there to celebrate my Scotch-Irish roots. And uh, this has been hanging in my window here for a few years. And uh, I really like this. This is so cool. It was all handmade just for me, and I traded a knife for this. Uh, one more of my trades. Now, this is my back window looking out. Here's one of my Mayan uh, eccentrics here. Those things are kind of cool to make. You can see that once was a blade, and I just kept notching and chipping it out until I got uh, that shape there. Below that is a Clorox arrowhead that has no Clorox uh, letters left on it. I napped all that off. And uh, this really pretty piece up here is uh, some Knife River Chalcedony from North Dakota. And some red glass. And let's see. All different kinds of glass arrowheads. Now there's one that has Clorox on it right here. You can probably see that that's a, an official Clorox tribe point. One of my earlier ones. And then this really nice teal colored one here is uh, um, a piece of glass I got from a good friend south of me and uh, I worked it into that blade. I just love the way the glass looks in the window. This little guy right here, he came from a friend of mine uh, from out west. You know, he'll recognize it. I think it's volcanic glass is the guy. That's what he goes by. Uh, just all kinds of interesting things in here. Um, take you forever to get a complete tour. I'll just show you a couple more odds and ends. Of course, there's there's those antlers I found here this fall, and and uh, this is kind of cool. This is a um, drawing that a good friend of mine, uh, Mr. Scribbles, he goes by. He made of me, and up here is supposedly my family all hanging out. And uh, this is Paleo Man right here, according to him. It's a sign uh, edition that he made, and he, he's always uh, very creative, and I've got so much of his work here. Matter of fact, if you look up over here, this is another one of his interesting works. Uh, you're wondering, what the heck is this? Well, what this is, was uh, one day we were having a little nap in out in my man cave, and he brought some paper that that morning he had been sitting having coffee and he took his paintbrush and dipped it in his coffee and just wiped it on the paper let it dry brought the papers over here and he sat and he found things that he could uh, um, capture in the paper there's all kinds of stuff there every time you see eyes well you can see right there there's an eagle there's a tomahawk there's a face right there Obviously, a, an embracing couple. Uh, I'm not sure, but you look right here. Here's another face. This just goes on and on. You know, pretty cool stuff. And you just keep looking, and wherever you see an eye, there's a face. But he's got a lot of talent, and uh, one of my best friends. He's the same age as me, maybe a few months older. I guess when you get up our age, it doesn't matter how many months it is. But here's something unique here. A lot of people say to me. Why the heck do you have a picture of Big Bird in your man cave? Well, there's a little story goes with this. You notice Big Bird's wearing an arrowhead necklace. Well, my neighbor has a brother that worked building the sets for Sesame Street. And one time I sent down a necklace and I says, give this to Big Bird. Well, apparently he really liked it. He was an outdoorsman. Um, and he made this drawing for me on uh, Jim Henson paper. And those feathers you see are right from Big Bird's um, outfit that he wears and he signed it and uh, he called it from your feathered friend Big Bird but I thought that was kinda cool I mean you know who's got a picture from Big Bird himself wearing one of your necklaces so that's that's a unique thing but uh, there's so many things in here now here here's a picture that's real dear to me these are my ancestors now the fella standing up in the upper uh, left corner is my grandfather. This is Charles Wallace. And uh, my mom, when she was alive, did some really cool stuff. She uh, found all these pictures of some of the Wallace ancestors. 
This was one of my earliest ancestors in the area. He came from Massachusetts and he was born in 1790. His name was David Dodge Wallace. And David had David A. Wallace, who was born in 1821. And then there was um, William, who was my great grandfather. This is my grandfather right here. This is my dad. This is me. Look at the hair. Can you believe it? What a hippie. That yeah, was about 1972. You know, hey, everybody had a lot of hair back then. I got a lot of hair, but it's not the same color. And then there's my son, uh, Kenneth II. It really means a lot to me, this, this frame, because it shows the Wallace men. And I told my son it's up to him now to carry on the name. He's going to take that real serious. So I, I keep reminding his girlfriend she's responsible for keeping the name alive. <laughs> but uh, those are just a few things I wanted to show. Uh, of course, here's some pictures, early pictures of my wife. I had a glamour shot. Here's a dandy right here. Now, you guys are going to love this. This is me back in 1976. Still lots of hair. How about that hat? Is that is that a classic? I was at a friend's house and I was having coffee that morning and uh, he took this picture and gave it to me a few years ago. Of course these are pictures of my son. And everywhere you look there's just tons of things that have stories behind them. So for now I'm gonna call it quits and uh, we'll get into some more of this at another time but everywhere you look there's stuff that can tell a story so I'll be back with more this is what I do when I get bored I find things to take videos of so thanks for watching and uh, especially thanks for your comments I I do get a kick out of everything you guys write and uh, I appreciate it a lot so I'll be back with more